Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about polar plot. This is just an introduction video. So it is a plot of magnitude versus phase angle. So here also we are going to draw a magnitude plot as well as a phase angle plot. Right. The polar sheet is plotted on a polar graph sheet. Here we are using a new sheet known as polar sheet in order to draw this plot. Right. Whereas in Bode plot we are using a semi-log sheet but here we are using a polar sheet. So the polar sheet has concentric circles and radial lines. So it has both circles as well as lines. Wait let me show you the sheet. Okay. This is our polar sheet. When you observe carefully you see polar sheet has concentric circles right did you notice you see here i am having a circle and this is another circle there is a circle here one here one here one and it goes on okay it has concentric circles that is circles having same center but different radius right then apart from the circles you see we are having some radial lines okay these lines radiate outwards so only we are calling it as radial lines so this is our polar sheet so here the circles represents magnitude and radial lines represent phase angles right here circles are used to represent the magnitude and the lines are used to represent the angles so in polar sheet positive angles are measured in anti clockwise from the reference axis here the reference axis is always 0 degree so from the reference axis positive phase angles are measured in anti clockwise direction right so this is our anti clockwise direction and negative angle is measured clockwise from the reference axis so here this is our clockwise direction when you measure the angle in this way then the, those angles are said to be negative angles right now this is a general diagram which shows how our polar plot will be that is based upon the type number and the order of the system here we had a, this is the basic thing of a polar plot if you know this these things thoroughly then it will be very easy for you to draw the polar plot right so here while solving the problem i will explain and it will be very easy for you so these things just you have to keep it in mind right it is mandatory so type 0 will start from here uh, what to say depending upon the type of the problem which we are having that is based upon the type number and order number we can't tell how the polar plot will look like okay this is a basic thing it is mandatory to keep this in your mind right just easy type 0 type 1 type 2 and type 3 and here also you see 1 2 3 for the it comes in a what to say clockwise direction first order second order third order and fourth order right so these are the different types of polar plots so when you have a type 0 and order 1 system right so order is nothing but the maximum power in the denominator right and type is nothing but the number of uh, poles lying at the origin or individual s that lies in the denominator right so here you see no individual s term so type is 0 and here the maximum power of the s is 1 so order is 1 so if you have type 0 order 1 system your polar plot will be like this it will start from here and it will end over here right then the next one is type 1 and order 2 system. So type 1 it is clear right we are having an individual s here in the denominator so it is type 1 and order is 2. When you multiply you will be having the maximum power of s as 2 right s into s becomes s square so the order is 2. If you have type 1 and order 2 system then your polar plot will be like this. It will start from here and it will end over here right. So the angles which you are marking, this is a, this is a standard format, right? 0, 9, minus 90, minus 180 and minus 270. And the next thing is type 0 order 2. So here you see, again, no individual S term. When you multiply, you will be getting the maximum power of S as 2. So the order is 2. So then your polar plot will look like this. It will start at 0 and it will end at this minus 180 degree. And the next thing is type 0 and order 3, 
right so here again no individual yes so type number is 0 and the order when you multiply these three terms the maximum power of s will be 3 so the order is 3 here if you have this type of problems then you see you will be having your polar plot like this it will start at 0 and it will end at minus 270 degree line right the next one is type 1 order 3. So here I am having individual as 1 s yes, right. So type 1 and order is when you multiply these 3 terms the maximum power will be s cube. So the order is 3. So then your polar plot will be like this okay. It will start at here and it will end at minus 270. And the next thing is type 2 and order 4. So s square right so the maximum power is 2 so the type is 2 and order when you multiply all these three terms the maximum power of s will be 4 right because here s square here s power 1 and s power 1 2 plus 1 plus 1 will give you 4 so here your polar plot will be like this right and finally type 2 and order 5 so s square right so the maximum power of individual s is 2 so the type number is 2 and when you multiply all these terms the maximum power of s is 5 so the order is 5 here so if you have problem like this then your polar plot will be like this right it will be starting here and it will be ending by your 0 degree reference axis right so this is just an introductory video while solving problems you will be having a clear idea this is just to give you an idea about what is a polar plot, right? Hope you people understand. Thank you.